Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Drive Control Mod. So let's turn this tractor off first. So, first things first. Uh, as you can see, when we have a tractor that is, when you boot up the game, this is what you, how you get a tractor. It has the shuttle control on, it's turned off, and it also has the parking brake on. So in order to take the parking brake off, you press shift left, left control plus the space bar, like so, and that'll put the parking brake on or off. So let's left control plus the space bar. Okay? To turn the truck to turn the tractor on, you hold down the enter key, like so. For shadow control, if you want to go forward, it'll be the it'll be pointing up. If you want to go backwards, it'll be pointing down. If you don't want the shadow control at all, simply hold the shadow control down and it will disappear. So that is how you get rid of shadow control. Also, uh, the drive control mod also adds these things down here. So this is a throttle and this is the gear. So if you want to adjust those, it's shift plus left and right, the left arrow key and the right arrow key. So as you can see, this number down here is changing and that is the number associated with how much, how much of the gear you're going to use. And if I want to change the throttle on the other side right here, it would be shift, left shift plus up and down. So if I want to decrease how much throttle I'm putting, you can decrease it by like that. So let me just give you a demonstration. So if I set this guy up, so right now he's set to maximum speed. So if I decrease his throttle, like so, nothing's going to happen because I have him set to 100%. But if I decrease his gear, how much throttle is being put in the gear, I can adjust my speed of this worker, for example. So let me show, give you a different demonstration of the same thing. So here we have a combine that's running, and I'm going to set him on his way. So as you can see, he's at 10 kilometers an hour, and if I hire a worker, so let me just demonstrate that this is a hard worker, as you can see, hard worker right there. So if I'm going to slow down this particular combine, I could decrease my gear level right here. So as you can see, I have it at 18 and now he's only going five kilometers an hour. So that's with the drive control mod as well. Okay. So also for tractors like this, you will have these, these right down here. So this one right here, the one that's flashing, that is your four wheel drive. This one would be your rear differential lock. And this one would be your front differential lock. So basically what that means is most of the time you want four wheel drive on because it'll make your life a whole bunch, e whole bunch easier and it won't, you won't slide around nearly as much. If you're having a lot of problems you can put four wheel drive on plus the rear differential locks and if you're having a lot a lot of problems you can put all three all three of those ones on. So you have your four wheel drive, your differential lock for the front and rear. And when you have them all set up like that um, you will be working really well basically for for stuff like this like carting for example it's not not necessary to have them all on just four wheel drive is usually sufficient and if you're using course play for example you can have four wheel drive always active right there basically and four wheel uh, well course play will do automatically it will actually uh, put on the front and rear differential lock if it's actually getting if it's sliding or slipping basically so there you have it so once again just a review if you want to Let's go to a different tractor. So if you want to take the shuttle control off, you hold down the space bar. That'll get rid of the shuttle control. If you want to get rid of the parking brake, it would be left control plus the space bar. So as you can see right there. If you want to turn on the tractor, it's hold down the enter key. If you want to put the four wheel drive on, it's shift F4. If you want to put the differential locks on, it's F, it's shift five and shift six so there you go so that is how you use the drive control mod you can also adjust the indoor sound of your vehicles that is in the xml file though so if i go inside here it's very quiet because i have adjusted my drive control configurations to be extremely quiet inside the tractor however when it's running so if i go to my combine right here so when my combine's running right now it's really quiet on the inside okay 
So that is the drive control mod. If you have any questions, leave, leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer it. And until next time, my name is Ian Robson. This has been Farming Simulator 2015, and have a good day.